Erin, and I'm here with Jimra. We are going to do a quick, yet super challenging and effective ab routine. Let's get started with the warm up. Nice and easy, you're just gonna lift one knee up at a time. Of course, right away, engaging your core, lifting and engaging from your lower belly. Let's add arms, bring your hands towards your knee, lift up, inhale, nice and deep through your nose, exhale. Ooh, it's gonna be a good one. Are you guys ready? <laughs> 10 more. Uh-huh. And imagine that you're doing a crunch here right away. Four, three, was that 10? I don't remember, two. <laughs> and done, good, okay. Inhale, reach your arms up, hands to the ground, bend your knees as much as you need to to get there. Crawl your hands forward to plank. And then we go down dog, crawl your hands back, stand all the way back up. Here we go, down, crawl your hands forward, down dog, stretch, crawl the hands back, up you go. Stay with it, down, crawl forward. You can always come onto your knees to modify. Downward dog, hold, crawl the hands back, lift up from your core, right? So we wanna Work and strengthen our core, not just so we look good in our bikini and speedos. <laughs> yes, so it's functional. Yes, we are using our, engaging our abs when we're picking up the kids, when we're picking up the groceries. So lift up from the belly, stand up. One more like this, and we're gonna add on. Okay, I forgot the down dog, that's okay. <laughs> This time, crawl forward to plank, stay. You're gonna lift one arm up into side plank. Hold. Remember, your modification be on the knees. It's totally good to modify. It's better to move and do something. Switch sides. So you just put your hand down, lift the other hand up. Now, don't overcomplicate that transition, yes? I don't wanna see you like, oh, flopping around on the mat. Yes, you just hold side plank. Put your hand back down into plank. Lift your other arm up, side plank. Put your hand down. Lift up, side plank. Mm -hmm. Plank, side plank. Stay with it. Plank, side plank. <laughs> Reach your chest forward. Mm -hmm. You can always have your feet a little further apart. And pivot. Lift the heels up. Then come onto the edges of the feet. Yeah, I don't want to see the heels lifted in your side plank. Get onto the edges of your feet. Down, side plank, down, side plank. Uh huh, a few more. Let's do four more. Three. Uh huh, lift those hips up. Last one. Okay, now onto your elbows. Let's hold forearm plank. Reach out your chest towards your thumbs. Yeah, none of this. Chest towards your thumb, chin off your chest. Don't let the hips drop too much, right? Lift up from your belly. And we don't want to overarch the back, okay? So lift your belly button up away from the ground. Lift those heels away up. Just for a moment, for a preview of something later, crawl your feet forward, lift your butt up. In yoga, we call this dolphin. Yes, and you're still engaging your core, so draw your navel up away from your thighs and breathe into your lungs. So we wanna be able to really engage and use our core and still breathe. Okay, crawl your feet back. Hold that forearm plank, we're not done yet. Five, four, three, <laughs> two, one, okay. Lay onto your back. So, lift the legs up over your hips. You can do this with your knees bent to modify or the legs straight, yes? I'm gonna show with the knees bent first. You're gonna roll onto your right hip, lift your left butt up, come through center, over to the left, lift up through center. Here we go, inhale to the right, exhale, lift. Inhale, left, exhale, lift. Now to make it more challenging, you can do this with your legs straight. And I want your shoulders moving as little as possible, yeah? So the movement is from your belly button down. Try not to bring the upper body with you. So not only are we really working 
our abdominals and our obliques here, but we're also twisting through the spine, which is good. Yes, and keeping the spine supple, getting that range of motion. If you don't use it, you lose it. <laughs> so use it. Here we go, let's do like, I don't know, 187 more, four more, three. You're gonna press your belly button into the ground to lift up. Try not to press into your elbows. Last two, press your belly button towards the ground as you lift up and lower down. Okay, you get five seconds to rest, enjoy it. <laughs> Back into the tabletop position. This time, arms out down by your sides. You're gonna straighten your legs out as low as you can go. Take your legs apart, together, bring it back in. Let's do it. Out, in, so straight, out, in, bend. Straight, out, in, bend. Try not to over arch the back, yes? So you're pressing your lower back down into the ground now. If you wanna make it a little more interesting, when you come in, Keep the legs straight, yes? Down, out, in, up. Down, out, in, up. I'm showing with both options. You choose what's right for you. I want you to challenge yourself, but you gotta make it doable, yes? And you have to believe that it's doable, right? The belief system is so important. So you have to believe in yourself, you can do this. <laughs> You gotta believe it's possible. Four. Oh, I've already got sand all over me. That's great. Three, I love it. <laughs> Two. Only one more. All the way up. Okay, time. Woo, side plank. You're gonna come onto one side, doesn't matter. You can do this on your forearm or up on your hands. Forearms is actually harder, but for some people the hands is too much because it's too much pressure on your wrist, okay? So forearm is also an option, either or. Reach your arm by your ear. You're gonna bend your knee and elbow together and take it down. Here we go. 10, nine. You can do this. Lift those hips up. I'm probably gonna lose count. <laughs> Five more. Hips up, hips up. That's good, we get to do extra bonus. Three, two, don't let your hips drop. Hold your side plank, hold, hold, hold. Don't you drop down, put that elbow down. Lift your other arm up, and here we go. Into the second side, bring the knee and elbow together. 10, nine, you've got this. Got this beautiful view I'm looking at. We're in Pismo Beach, am I saying that right, Pismo Beach? <laughs> Five more, it's a beautiful day, four. Here comes the water to get me. Oh, I made it, two. Last one, hold it up, hold it up, hold it up. Great news, without dropping, you get to do it one more time on each side. That's the best news ever. Let's go, 10, nine, eight. I know you love me right now. That's okay, I'm cursing myself out in my head right now. <laughs> Five, four, three, two. Right away, don't drop your knees. Put that elbow down, lift the hips up. Second side. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight. Stay positive, you can do this. Yes, your body is strong enough. Get that mind stronger. Five, four, you got child's pose coming in. Three, two, one, make it count. Okay, relax back to child's pose. Feet together, knees apart. Let your forehead or your cap of your hat drop to the ground. Hands and knees all fours. <laughs> Lift your right arm and your left leg up. You need to crunch the knee and elbow together. So in and out. And as you come out, try not to over arch your back, yes? Keep this lift and engagement through the core. 10, nine, stay focused the whole time. Eight. So your body is important. You've got this one body, this one life. You wanna take such good care of it. Yeah, when you're 95, <laughs> you wanna look back and think, I did good. Three. 
two, one more. I think that might have been more than 10. That's okay. <laughs> Second side. Up. Remember, no droopy. Lift up. Push into the ground so this arm is nice and strong. And stay focused. You are doing something good and healthy for your body, for your mind, for your muscles, for your bones. Yeah, and it's all connected. So when we take good care of ourselves, we can take good care of other people. We feel better, have more energy, sleep better. Everything gets better. <laughs> I think we have three more. I think I might have thrown in some extra, but that's just all in love too. <laughs> Last one and lay onto your stomach. Now remember your core wraps all the way around like a corset. So we gotta work the back side too. Here we go, arms straight down by your sides. Lift your legs, your chest up and down. Up. Yes, we gotta keep the spine strong. We gotta keep it even. We don't wanna just work the front part. And that's gonna create a lot of um, unevenness. Unevenness, is that a word? <laughs> in your body. Now if you want a little more, you can bring your arms out to the side. And you're gonna do this video a few times. And you can notice yourself getting stronger and then maybe you wanna do this exercise with your arms up by your ears. Now instead of pushing your stomach into the ground, lift your belly button up. Lift up through your lower belly. Eight. Seven, six, neck is long. There's no straining in your neck. This isn't about lifting up super high. It's about moving with integrity. Let's say three more, two, one, and five seconds to breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> up onto your elbows, <clears throat> shoulders over your elbows, curl your toes under, and here we go. Lift those hips up into a forearm plank. Now we're just gonna go for a little walk. <laughs> Lift the right leg and the left leg. Now, the butt is gonna wanna go up here. No, no, no. Get that booty down. Work that booty. Here we go. 10, 10, nine, nine. Stay focused on the goal. What's your goal? What are you working for? Yes, what's your why? You just need one strong goal, one strong why, and that's gonna take away all the distractions, all the excuses. Three, three, two, two, only one more. And child's pose. Okay. Up to down dog, stretch back. Now crawl your hands back towards your feet just like we did earlier, those walk-ups. Now from your belly, use your core to stand all the way up. Okay, moving right along. Bring your feet out wide, sumo squat. Turn your toes out, bend your knees, hips down low, hands behind your head, and do these side bends, okay? So just to one side, right elbow towards the right knee and up, just to one side. And don't let your chest drop. Yes, we have to have that confident, Posture, yes, face it right away. Straight away in the face, you've got this. 10, keep those hips low, bonus little leg work. <laughs> Chest up, butt low, yes. Booty down, chest up. I think we got about four, three, two. Right into the second side, love you. Down. <laughs> I know. My nieces and nephews give me the same dirty looks that you're giving to me right now. So I'm immune. I can feel the water. It's so close to. <laughs> We're close to doing an underwater ab workout. <laughs> Here we go. Eight. Seven. Oh, my legs. Four. Three. Two, one, and stand it up. 
Okay, so balancing works your core a ton. So if you haven't done yoga with me, get your butt doing that yoga because you're gonna work that balance. Now if you do yoga, you know warrior three. So balancing on one leg, lift the leg up. Now I'd rather see your leg lower and your spine long than the leg up high and your shoulders droopy, yes? Yeah? So here we go, balancing on one leg, arms out, crunch the knee in and out. Let's go, 10. Look at one spot for balance. If you lose your balance, you come back. You always come back. Yeah, if you miss your workouts for a couple days or a couple years, <laughs> you just keep coming back. Three, two, one. Stand up, take a breath. Because we're going right into our second side. Let's do it. Lift the other leg up. Get that posture. Don't lose the shoulders. This, unacceptable. Chest up. Let's go. 10. Use your core. Lift through your belly button. Yes. Actively focusing on engaging your core. And if this is too much, you could always have your hand on the wall and just do the leg. Your hand on a tree. Your hand on your niece or nephew. <laughs> Here we go. Three. Two, one, and stand it up. Okay, we're going back down to the ground. Sit down. All right, it's just a sit up with a little bit extra jazz. So, one leg out. You're going to inhale down, exhale, lift that leg. Let's go. Inhale, exhale. 10, nine. You can always do this with the support of your hands, and then you're going to Feel yourself getting stronger as you stay committed to yourself. Three, two, one, hold. Take a deep breath and let's go right into the second side. Here we go. Down, up. I like to use the exhale to lift up. Nine, eight, seven. Remember, this is always an option. Five. Four, you're amazing. Three, last two, make it good. Last one, Woo! and done. Lay it on down. Hands down by your side. You can always put your hands underneath your butt for a little extra support. Lift your legs up. Now, you're gonna lower your legs as low as you can without compromising your back, and I want them all the way straight. So it is not this. This is not, 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 not what it is, okay? Here we go, legs stay straight. Cross right over left, left over right. Let's go, right, left, right, left. Keep those legs straight, not here. No, 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 legs straight. The lower you go, the harder it gets. You choose. Let's lift the head, chest, and shoulders up. Here we go, last 10, nine, eight, seven. Straighten those legs, work those quads. Four, three, two, one, and done. Okay, flip it over. This is your last exercise. Forearm plank, let's do it. We were here before. Okay, what do you say, a five minute hold? <laughs> okay, fine. We'll work our way up to that. Let's go for a little walk. Go, 10, 10, nine. Who's counting for me? <laughs> Oh, I start chatting and then I lose track of all of it and then you guys get mad at me. You're like, Laura, four more. <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> Two, it's all in love. It's all just a little extra love. Hold your forearm plank, don't drop on me now. Don't drop on me now, we've come this far. Crawl the feet up, dolphin, lift your hips up. Remember, you're drawing your navel up off your thighs. Engage, stay active, stay focused. Yes, not just in your body, in your mind. Both. Crawl it back, forearm plank. Let's go, 10, 10. <laughs> I know that was an evil laugh, wasn't it? Don't worry, I'm doing it with you. I'm feeling it with you. Remember, this is good for you. Working out is not a punishment. It is nourishing, it is good, it is healthy, it is a gift. We are lucky and privileged to have this body to move and work. Three, three, two, last time. Crawl the legs forward, 
Dolphin, up you go. Come on, hips up. Press your thighs back. Give me 10 more seconds. Go just beyond what you think you can do. If you can hold it longer, you stay there. Otherwise, slowly, knees to the ground. Let your forehead drop, child's pose. Good. Come up, step your right foot forward. Now sometimes when we work our core a lot, unfortunately the hip flexors want to do the work. Yes, the stronger you get these muscles in your abs, the less the hip flexors are going to have to do. Yes, so the goal is that, yes, the hips are going to work, but we want our abs doing more. So this is a good stretch for the hip flexors. Press your glutes forward. Actively press your butt into the front of your hip. Reach your arms up, lift your chest up, stretching the whole front of the body here. Good. Lower your hands to the ground. Heel toe your right foot over to the left. So your knee is on the right, your foot is on the left. This is pigeon. This is stretch for your butt, your hips, your glutes, and also for that back hip flexor again. Now today you're not going to lower your chest to the ground. You're going to stay upright. Press your glutes forward because again I want you to Get the stretch in your hip flexors and the front of the body. If you can crawl your hands further back, go for it. Underwater ab workout is coming next. <laughs> okay, Whew. step back, maybe take a down dog. You can just step back to hands and knees. And second side, step that left foot forward. Actively press your glutes forward. And isn't it funny how we want to talk ourselves out of working out and out of doing something so good for us? And then how good do you feel after? How good do you feel after a run or after a yoga session? You never regret it. But so don't let your mind talk you out of it. Lift those arms up. Remember, actively press the glutes forward. Lift your chest up. Enjoy it. We're just here to get better, to grow, to improve and also to help each other, to lift each other up, inspire each other. Hands to the ground, heel toe your left foot over to the right. Slowly, 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 put your knee down. Crawl the right foot back. Stay upright. Yeah, and at first you might be here. That's okay, once again, you know, it's just about that growth, that improvement, and it doesn't happen overnight. I wish I could tell you that it did. It takes commitment and time and effort and consistency. I heard this great quote, there's the pain of discipline and there's the pain of regret. Yes, so discipline is hard, but it's so good. Deep breath, downward facing dog, last stretch. One more breath, press your thighs back, push your hands down. Okay, you guys are awesome. You are done. I will see you so soon for yoga. Have a great day. <laughs>